Roger? Yes? You wanna go to lunch? Well, I I'd love to, but if this isn't out to lunch, you're not gonna share anyway, so what's the point? Well, I mean, do you wanna come with me? No. We are out to lunch today, going to La Esquina. The best part about being in here in Orlando is that we are the food truck capital of the country. We have more food trucks per capita than any other city in the country. This is exciting. La Esquina, we're gonna do tacos, we're gonna do some good Mexican. And would you say you're gonna punish yourself with food today? No, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna take it like this is 2021, one of my resolutions is to lose weight. I just feel like you're really just gonna punish yourself with food today. Why are you laughing at your own comment that makes no sense? What do you what do you actually mean by that, Roger? Oh well, they'll know. Really? Really, Roger? Really? We're also looking for a new videographer. All right, we, I don't know where we are. I'm getting a little it nervous. seem like uh, the right area. I'm fully shipping crates. This is literally the address. Wait, wait, La Esquina. Oh yeah, we are getting junkyard tacos. I'm so excited. These cars just got here. When we came up, there were cars pulling out, cars in here. They have a spot you sit down, someone comes up, takes the order, you wait for your food, then you drive off. Good, how are you? Okay, so I'll do I'll do one of those. They got Uber Eats, they have all sorts of other things. I'm gonna get out, we're gonna take a look at this trailer. It has its own address, and that's all you really need. Beautiful. Here it is behind me, La Esquina. Very well known, very famous local one. I've actually gotten several requests to eat here. This is beautiful. This is exactly what we want to showcase. There's no, hardly any interaction between you and the food truck. And this is just another example of how food trucks are adapting and thriving in any sort of situation. If you're smart enough, you can figure this stuff out. And La Esquina is one a prime example of a, of a company that has figured it out and are doing extremely, extremely well. I asked them how this year's been for them and they've said better than expected. Yes, the business increased because of the food truck and the curbside, people can come and order and just get the food. And it's just growing nonstop. So they're they're growing, growing. They're gonna be coming in probably for another trailer soon by the sounds Yes, we're planning to buy more food trucks and expanding all Central Florida and more. We're really happy. Well, the food looks amazing, it smells amazing. The presentation on this is, is beautiful. They do a really good job with this. I love these containers. All right, let's watch you get fat and stuff in your face. Well, we're, they gave us two sets of silverware for some reason, but we can throw that one away because mm. I ain't sharing this. I don't know how All I feel right. about that. Look at this. Presentation's gorgeous. Each one comes in its own different uh, box. You're not cross-contaminating, you know, your pork with your steak and your chicken. Look how much meat to tortilla ratio they have on these. This is gorgeous. This is the berria. Looks like it's fried here. They talk it up here on the menu. The best taco you'll ever try. That's pretty ambitious. Wow. Shredded beef taco with cheese, onion, and cilantro served with a cup of our delicious broth. She said you're supposed to dip the taco in the broth. And we're gonna get messy here, but this is why we're eating in the back of a truck. I don't even know where to begin on this. This is so good. Man, that takes me back. I spent a few years in Guatemala. Street food is my favorite favorite stuff to eat. It was the most dangerous there because you can't tell the quality. But you know these kitchens are good. They are up to code and they are safe. So this is the most like stress-free Mexican street food meal I've ever had. This is amazing. I'm gonna go with the lime just because, but off camera I'm gonna drink this. Mm. Gotcha. Berria. Berria tacos. I could probably eat 10 of those. This is one of my favorite, new favorite kept secrets here in Orlando. When people are coming to town or I need to impress anybody, I'm bringing them here. I, really like it. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> this, uh, the bar birria? Birria taco. That you was did. really good with the broth. What's in the broth? It's um, onion, cilantro, and our special recipe. <laughs> I like it. I'm about to drink it, actually. <laughs> it's really good. That's how we eat it in Mexico. We just drink the broth and yeah. the taco always on the side. This was really good. I love the heat on this. Oh my gosh, you like that one? That's yeah. spicier. Yeah, it kicks your it kicks you real hard, but mm -hmm. then it mellows out mm -hmm. real fast, so it's, it, it, it's not painful. Mm -hmm. I really, really, really enjoyed that. Just wanted to check on you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. All right, so al pastor, this is pork. 
Look at that. Not too messy, not too, not too wet. Look at that, nothing's really falling out. It's like a sweet pineapple kind of kick to it. Watching you eat complete <laughs> All right, my favorite, obviously my favorite. Actually, coming back, I probably will eat a lot more of these um, these birria tacos and these al pastor. Chicken's good. The sauces are actually made that one really, really, really good. Uh, we're gonna try one of these steak tacos here. We put a lot of a prep into this meat. They don't just cut it up, mix it up, and fry it up. They actually marinate this to sit for a while. Man, this meal couldn't get any better. Almost good enough to share, but good enough not to. Yes, it is dessert time. Let me help you with it. No, no, thank you. I got it. So this is the uh, churro cheesecake. Looks like they got some cheesecake. They put it in some churro batter and they fried it maybe. Wait, Roger, get away. Do you seriously want some of this? This is like the last chance you have of you... being a good guy and, and feeding me. No. I'm a fan of cheesecake. It's definitely got that cheesecake in the middle. That's definitely... A, a really good cheesecake. Um, get away. I just want to smell it. No, get away. I just, I'm you just can't... smelling it. That's you all. You need to literally social distance for me while I eat this. I have my mask on. I'm like you. I can't. I can't wear a mask while I'm eating. You could if you wanted to. I can't get a full feel of the whole cheesecake until it's all in my mouth. You're really eating all of it. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. It's that good. I love this place. I'm gonna go into your mouth. No. That's right. Ooh. Feeling good about yourself there? Oh man, I could eat I could have ate double. That was really, really, really good. What's your middle name? Eat it all yourself? Is that what it is? That was my maiden name. I don't even know what to say. I'm just in the taco coma. Your hands are in my life or at the moment. My, wait, what? <laughs> my life. Your life is in my hands and they smell like tacos. Well, at least they're not in about the in weird places.